Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Halo semuanya, selamat datang kembali di channel kami. Konten kali ini adalah reaksi luar tentang geografi Now Indonesia. Bagaimana reaksi mereka? Yuk, kita nonton bareng. Namun sebelum masuk ke videonya, jika kalian suka video ini, silahkan tekan tombol langganan dan suka. Terima kasih. Semoga Allah selalu melimpahkan rahmat dan hidayahnya kepada kita semua. Amin amin ya rabbal alamin. Asia, basically all you have to know is that it's kind of like the Hawaii of the Muslim world, but it's like huge. It's like the biggest state with orangutans. And that's it, just no punchline. Let's just go to the intro song. Eurasian, the Pacific, and the Australian. 8,800 have names, and over 900 of them are permanently inhabited. You would think they are the country with the most islands, but surprisingly, Finland and Canada beat them. But a lot of their islands are kind of like bip -bip -bip little islands in the lakes. So does it really count? I guess. Now let's talk about the five special administrative provinces. They are Aceh, Yogyakarta, West Papua, and Papua, and the capital Jakarta. Now, no surprise, the capital Jakarta acts as its own political entity. Lots of But what about the others? First, Aceh. Aceh is kind of like the black sheep of Indonesia. It's the only province in which Sharia law is fully implemented. Also, they kind of have like a ton of oil. So yeah, they've kind of asserted a very independent ideology that sets them apart as autonomous from the rest of Indonesia. Then you have noticeable six on all get incredibly messed up. Not only is Indonesia right in the worst part of the Ring of Fire, but the country is basically smashed between three converging major continental plates. The Eurasian, the Pacific, and the Australian plates, with dozens of minor plates and rifts like the Sunda, Timor, Banda, Moluk. Oh! gives Indonesia over 400 volcanoes, disputably more than any in the world, with over 150 active ones, making it the most volcanically active country in the world as well. This means on a daily basis, Indonesia experiences on average about four earthquakes a day, ranging anywhere between the small, timid three to a noticeable six on the Richter scale. And you never know where or when they will happen. They are documenting the sulfur miners. They were just chipping away at sulfur deposits. Like really? All sulfur, with all this horrible gas pouring around, and isn't that gas poisonous? I think so. It's just money waiting for them, basically. Yeah. They gotta do what they gotta. The largest speculated volcanic explosive eruption on Earth that essentially created a worldwide volcanic winter. The eruption was so big that you can literally observe ashes from the explosion that went as far as Malawi in East Africa. Remember, guys, Mother Nature is beautiful, but if she wants, she can kill you. Close to Punkak Jaya is Grasberg, the largest gold and copperless country in the world, with the largest population of Muslims as well. Now, here's the thing. In a sense, yes, 95% of the population is considered. Yeah, this many people bro i thought they had like a little over 100 million just like the philippines just like where i live but yo oh 263 million they have more than they're almost three times the population almost three times like two and a half times wow there's a lot there's a lot How many people making it the point indonesian that's an incredibly broad term considering that indonesia has about 300 different ethno-linguistic groups split up across all the island regions of the country if you look at a map with the actual ethnic group breakdown it kind of looks something like this nonetheless the two largest parent ethnic groups are the About 40%, the Sundanese that make up about 15%. Otherwise, the rest of the population is primarily made up of smaller groups and tribes that have only around 2-3% each, like the Batak, the Sulawesi, the Balinese, Minangkabau, Betawi, Papuan, Dayak, and so on. Finally, one thing that kind of unites all Indonesians is that they share the national language Bahasa Indonesia, which means 
the Indonesian language. However, Bahasa Indonesia is actually kind of like a lingua franca to many of the people as Indonesia is the world's largest trilingual country. In addition to Bahasa Indonesia, most people speak their own mother tongue as well as English. Yep, English. They caught on quick culture. Yeah, we got time. Why not? Talk about Indonesia. Yeah. He's kind of jealous. Okay. Or what's the whole deal with them in Malaysia? Or wait, this guy yeah, is that's interesting. Asian. First of all, the country has about two. And they realized it was the money language. The funny thing is, even though the Javanese make up the largest people group, the Javanese language is not an official language. Technically, it could have been, but then that would have favored one people group over all the others, which would have caused tension. So they kind of had to choose like a neutral default. Plus, Javanese is like really hard to learn, and the original writing system, although very beautiful, is incredibly difficult to write. Nonetheless, at nearly 100 million speakers, this makes Javanese the largest non-official minority language in the world. And that's why the Bahasa... He also mentioned, um, so this is, this language is used more like a lingua franca, so only, um, uh, not 50, 42 million people use it as uh, as their first language. Language is so strange. It's not even technically indigenous to Indonesia, but more Malay derived. To this day, people who speak Bahasa Indonesia can understand somewhere around 60 to 70 percent of what their neighbors are saying in Malaysia. The biggest difference, though, would be the loan words, as Indonesia took quite a bit of influence from the Dutch back in colonial times. For example, kantor versus kantor, doctor versus doctor, mantel, mantel, oma, opa, vorto. Wartel. Speaking of the Dutch, quick history lesson. Protestant, Catholic, Hindu, Buddhist, and Confucianism. If you don't identify with either, then sorry. Prior to Islam entering around the 13th century, Indonesia was actually primarily Hindu and Buddhist. It's disputed on how exactly Indonesia became prevalently Muslim. Some people will say that it's because of the Arab traders that came by in the early first millennium. Others will say that maybe it had to do with the Malacca Sultanate conquest that fought against the Hindu and Buddhist kingdoms. And the truth is, both might be right. Inevitably, Bali became like the last sort of haven for whatever Hindus were left. The eastern Nusa Tenggara region and the Papuas remained predominantly Christian as the Dutch and Portuguese shared the gospel. Islamic culture in Indonesia is a little different from what it looks like in the Middle East. For one, most mosques don't have the typical dome structure, and actually many of them resemble Hindu temples, like the Demak Great Mosque. When a family member dies, their relatives might often come together and pray for a whole week, and then again on the 40th day, and then on the year anniversary, and then on the 500th day, and so on. Also, the night before Eid al Fatir, the youth might gather and go around neighborhoods reciting the Takbir. Those are some things you don't really typically find in the Middle East. Clothing modesty customs are pretty loose. Not all Muslim women wear hijabs, however, the ones that do might also complement it with Western clothing like branded t-shirts with skin tight sleeves and jeans. When I was in Indonesia, I saw a hijab wearing woman with short sleeves and capri pants exposing her calves. I was like, can they do that? Now in terms of culture, again, it depends on where you are and many indigenous people still follow ancient traditions. Everything from the Minang people. They are documenting the sulfur miners. They were just chipping away at sulfur deposits. Like really? Like raw sulfur with all this horrible gas pouring around. And... Isn't that gas poisonous? I think so. It's just money waiting for them, basically. Yeah. They gotta do what they gotta do. Just... <laughs> what the, the night pictures are more of the natives and the people that are actually there now. It seems like we've got a lot of like facts and figures in there in this one. Yeah, there was a lot of facts and figures. I, I can't believe how many people. Was it fringe and fifty odd million people whatever lived there? I never knew it was that populated in Indonesia. That's, I never knew it was that big. Yeah, that's nearly a sort of American sort of population, isn't it? It's about six, seven hundred million Americans. Mm -hmm. Quite high. Yeah. 